Yeah, hi, I'm Charles Greenberg with Astronix Test Systems, the U.S. Tabor Solutions Provider. This is Jonathan Netzer, who's with me in, in our booth in Honolulu today from Tabor Electronics. Um, what we have to show you today is a low-cost V-band generation and measurement system. Uh, we have a little block diagram here. Um, the Tabor Electronics unit is used to generate images in L, S, C, and X band, different arbitrary waveforms with a 2 gigahertz bandwidth. In this case, we're going to take the X band signal by filtering it from this image, and then we're going to be left with just the X band signal. Um, then we're going to mix it up using our millimeter wave up converter from OML, which is, consists of a times four harmonic multiplier, a fundamental mixer that we're going to use to mix the AWG signal with, with a 14 gigahertz LO. Uh, the 14 gigahertz LO at 7 dBm is going to be multiplied up to 56 gigahertz. So we're basically taking an 8 to 10 gigahertz signal in X band, multiplying it and mixing it with a 56 dB, 56 gigahertz signal, running it through a bandpass filter and a 20 dB amplifier. Then we're going to um, drive a um, uh, an antenna, which is a waveguide style antenna with a horn. We're going to go over the air over to a measurement system from Anritsu, which is a 110 gigahertz spectrum analyzer. So we're going to go from this horn back to that horn, and we're going to see the spectrum from 64 to 66 gigahertz V band. And it'd be a, a waveform like, a, um, like you'd see at 802.11 AD for the new emerging 5G standard. So here's the, here's the AWG from Tabor Electronics. It's the brand new SE5082. It can generate signals all the way up to KA band. In this case, we're using it for X band generation. That's an Enritsu signal generator for, for the local oscillator. That's where we're getting the 14 gigahertz from. We're doing um, up conversion using this unit from OML that I explained in the block diagram. And then here you have um, the transmission of the signal over to the measurement device. Uh, we have a um, um, horn antenna. So if you're looking at the signal on the spectrum analyzer up here, and I put my, my hand in the way of it, you can actually see it perturbing the signal. There's the signal up, up high going across, and then when I drop it here, I interfere with the power transfer to the other horn. So there you have an over-the-air demonstration of low-cost V-band generation from Tabor Electronics and Astronics Tesla.